hose, a hydraulic, press 10 pounds can lift 100 pounds. All right, so let's uh, hit the little enter button. Notice that my pressure equals force divided by area. So if my, I can raise 100 pounds using 10 pounds because the area is smaller here. Then here I've got the 100 pounds, but my area is greater. Okay, but what is the trade-off? Well, it would be distance here. Notice that you have to go down a farther distance because the area is smaller. So the liquid has to go somewhere. So with the liquid flow, our flow rate is the volume of fluid that moves through the system in a given period of time. The flow velocity is the distance the fluid travels through a system in a given period of time. All right, so this is the next equation that we're going to talk about. Q equals V times A. So Q being the flow rate, V being flow velocity, and A being area. And you notice sometimes they use the same letters for things. I know in thermo we had talked about Q being um, heat, and now we're saying it's flow rate. So sometimes you'll see that. But V is usually velocity. All right, so flow rate is like inches cubed per minute, or as it says, GPM, gallons per minute. V, you'll find in inches per minute, or another example there on the left is feet per second. Area, it shows inches squared. So if you look at this, again, you need to match your units. So if I say inches squared, I'd probably need to use this one, or not probably, I would need to use this one because inches squared times inches gives me my inches cubed per minute. So make sure you're always converting and getting those units to match because if I used this one, it's not going to get me to gallons per minute. All right. All right, so a flow meter attached to the main line in a hydraulic system measures the flow rate of 15 gallons per minute. The line has an inside diameter of 2 inches. What is the flow velocity in the meter? So I know my flow rate. All right, I know my diameter, 2 inches. I'm looking for my velocity. So I need to convert my 15 gallons per minute to inches cubed per minute. All right, so my conversion factor is 1 gallon equals 231 inches cubed. I want to write that down so that you don't have to continually look here to convert. So I convert that, find that it is 3,500 inches cubed per minute. Okay, we also need to find out what the area would be. Right, so it is pi r squared. This would be 3.14 inches squared. So now I'm ready to plug in my uh, values that I know. And then I can solve for that final velocity, 1,100 inches per minute. Okay, so mechanical advantage equals force at the output divided by force at the input. So we've done this with mechanical advantage with simple machines. Now we're looking at it with hydraulics. All right, this mechanical advantage, of course, would be that theoretical or that ideal mechanical advantage. So MA equals force out over force in. All right, so a force of 100 pound force is applied to the input cylinder of the hydraulic press seen below. What is the pressure in the system? How much force can the output cylinder lift? What is the mechanical advantage of the system? So first we're going to look at our sketch here, or our picture, and we'll fill in all of our knowns. We know our force in, it says, is 100 pound force. We know that our diameter of that cylinder is 4 inches. So we'll have to calculate our area so that we can get our pressure. Our force out, we don't know. That's what we're looking for. We know our diameter is 12 inches. So that means I can calculate the area. And then I can get the mechanical advantage by saying force out over force in. Okay, so here it shows they're finding the area first. Pi r squared gives us the area. 
of each one of these. This is find the pressure in the system. So now I'm going to plug in for my pressure equals force over area. I've got my areas. Right. I've got my force in. So let's look at this. We've got 100 pounds divided by 12.57. Right. So that gives me 8 pounds per inch squared for my pressure within. Okay, find the force of the output cylinder. Okay, I don't have my force out. That's what I'm trying to find. All right, but I know my pressure must be, all right, so let's kind of go back here where we just found it here, all right, because my pressure has to be equal or it's not going to be able to move the thing on the other side, right? My forces aren't going to be equal because my areas aren't equal. But my pressure before and after have to be equal. So now that I have found my before, right, or my left side in pressure, I can now find my out. So I've got now pressure here equals force out over area. Right, so it finds force out. All right, so now I can put those together. My mechanical advantage is force out over force in. Okay, so force out over force in is going to give me a mechanical advantage of 9.